Welcome to this edition of the Arangus Mr. City Eye update in my case within the Care Collab series. And together I am joined with Fernanda Nacimento Orchids and Succulents, Cloud Forest Vibes Orchids and More, Petals, Sepals and Spines, Honeybees and Orchids, Rogers Orchids and Ed's Orchids. And I figured I would list them out today because the number isn't as large as in other cases. But you will see the names on the screen and all the videos pertaining to these channels will be in the description below because we all grow our Orangus a little bit different. In my case, this is an update. Really appreciate that you are here taking the time to watch my video. I am in Southern Spain. And yes, in my previous Care Collab, the original Care Collab that we did, I will also link that video in the description. She is growing really, really well. I believe that she loves this setup. In my dry climate, my hot climate, any kind of humidity boost, anything I can give her to supplement the lack of humidity in my ambient air, it is working a treat. Even though I would like her to start growing pendant, <laughs> She is growing bolt upright for now. But my goodness, how lush and strong the foliage is at this point in time, how long they are. She has really, really taken on quite, quite a substantial structure since we last saw her. And as you can see, she's working on one spike. I know, right? One spike this time of year. But hey, she's pushing out another spike right there. I always used to get two spikes out of her. Sometimes she'd bloomed for me in January and then in the same year again in November. At the beginning, I thought I was only gonna get one spike, but she's changed her mind as giving me another one. And there's a lot of action in that pot. Check this out. I got roots. Root growing and a root curling back towards the orchid. <laughs> It would be nice if it did a complete U-turn and went all the way down into the lecker. I don't know. And another little phenomenon that is happening, which I didn't get when she was mounted. I've got branching going on. And that is, for me, the sign that she is absolutely loving the setup. I am flushing her almost every third day, mainly with plain RO water and sometimes with 160 parts per million of the MSU fertilizer, which is considered balanced. So I have calcium, magnesium in that. I am now, because she is developing two spikes, also giving her 60 parts per million of CalMag ever so often, probably once a week. So basically I flush every second day, CalMag to follow, and then the MSU fertilizer and all this gets flushed out quite regularly. So my fertilizing regime has reduced considerably and I think she is much happier for it. I am getting a little bit of a leaf dieback here on the bottom. That is probably from the repot stress, getting accustomed to the new setup. But all in all, I have not had her ever languish throughout the summer. And because she was on a mount before, I was struggling to keep up with her watering needs as she was growing. So I was losing a lot more leaves a lot faster. And that is why I moved her from that mount, which was really, really cute, actually. It's one of those little bamboo boats that you get when you go to the Tepanyaki and you get the hot towel to wash your hands. I asked if I could have some of those little holders for the towels and they were kind enough to give me a couple. And that is where I mounted my Mr. City Eye on in early days. It's just when the orchid grows, the needs increase, and if the climate and the ambient air cannot match those needs, something has to change. Hence, the semi-hydro setup with Leka and Akadama. And the Akadama is basically for me to maintain more of a humidity atmosphere around the top for the leaves so that there's not that much dehydration. If I get these hot winds that I am so accustomed to in the months of June and July, and clearly, result. Big, big difference in the quality of the leaves, the structure of the leaves. If she ever decides to lean over, I have her with the light direction coming from over here. And she's indoors in my dining room on a glass shelf right by the terrace window where she currently is not getting any direct sun, but super, super bright light. And she will never ever get direct sun because in my climate that would be far too harsh. 
and I would incur some burning on the leaves. So once the angle of the sun will drop a little bit and starts to encroach on that glass shelf area, I will switch her and move her back a little bit more. And we will play this game until such a time that I know exactly for the rest of the winter she's in a location where she gets a lot of bright light, but not direct sun. If, for example, around December, January, the angle of the sun is so low that she does get some direct sun on occasions late afternoon, in my case, because my dining room is on the west side, I'm not bothered because by that time the sun is too weak. But at this point in time, for probably around 11 months of the year, she only gets super, super bright light, no direct sun. I have nothing but positive things to say at the moment with regards to my setup. If you would like to try it, why don't you have a look at my video from last time and give it a go and see what happens. If you have any questions, how long it took, the transition process, etc., etc., please feel free to leave me a comment below. Honestly, in a nutshell, it was easy peasy, never had any issues, and we are going to get blooms again. And not just one spike, she changed her mind and is giving me two. Short and sweet because really, the look of the orchid speaks for itself. But I know that somebody here has blooms. When we do updates sporadically like this, somebody somewhere on these channels has blooms. So I would encourage you to go and have a look at Fernanda Nathimento orchids and succulents, cloud forest vibes and more, petal sepals and spines, honeybees and orchids, Roger's orchids and Ed's orchids. Again, videos are linked in the description and see who's got the blooms. I will be showing my blooms in future videos so we're not going to miss out. It would have been fun to have coincided with my spike, with the other channel that has the blooms. But that's the beauty of these care collabs. What is an orchid doing? In what climate? In what part of the world? And in which setup? Do they always bloom at the same time or not? Well, in this case, we can see no. But I'm getting close. There will be blooms. I really appreciate your time. I appreciate all the channels that took the time to make their videos, to update us on their Arangus Mr. Sidii, and those channels that are new to this edition for the Arangus Mr. Sidii. I really look forward to seeing how they take care of theirs and see if there's anything I can learn in order to better the culture for mine. Your time is very much appreciated. Your support is appreciated. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so very, very much for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day and please stay safe and take care. Bye.